this is a muscle length test for the hamstrings. There are actually two muscle length tests for the hamstrings. We have the 90-90 test, also known as the popliteal angle test, and we can also use the straight leg raise. The indicator joints for both of those tests are different. So the joint we're going to measure for the 90-90 is going to be the knee, or the popliteal angle test is going to be the knee. And then for the straight leg raise, we're going to use the hip joint as our indicator joint. So the 90-90 test, we're going to bring the hip to 90 degrees and then extend the knee. This is a passive test. We're going to spring against the barrier, so it should be a springy muscular infield typically. And then we're going to take this measurement. So uh, a point of confusion for students is they'll want to measure this angle here, but the way we typically report 90-90 tests is going to be the angle from here to here. So I'm going to line this up, this reference arm or proximal arm with the lateral midline of the thigh, and then this distal arm with the lateral midline of the leg. Um, and I know we, I said we were measuring this angle here. So if this is the zero position, you just want to make sure that um, you're reading the right dial on our goniometer here. So I have about 24 degrees with the 90-90 test. You could also measure it this way, but I think that's less common. Again, you just need to know that you're, this is the angle that you're measuring and make sure you're reading the correct dial. Now the straight leg raise can also be used as a hamstring muscle length test. It also is used as a nerve tension test. Uh, but for our muscle length test here, you just want to make sure that you're relaxing the ankle as opposed to pulling the ankle into dorsiflexion. That becomes a straight leg raise neurological test because you're increasing tension, neurological tension from the lumbar spine into the toes. For the hamstring stretch you want to make sure, or muscle length test, you want to make sure that the ankle is relaxed. Getting to the barrier, spring should be that same muscular springy end feel. And then once you're there, then we will align one arm of the goni with the lateral midline of the thigh and then lateral midline of the trunk. So I have 75 degrees for the straight leg raise.